Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Collectors, and today I'm doing a holiday pickup, stuff that I got from the holidays, stuff that I haven't been able to shoot videos because of the holidays, you know, we're getting family together, and it's very hard to actually shoot videos during this time, and in this time, we actually broke 1,000 subscribers, which is fantastic, I'm so excited, I appreciate every single one of you who've done nothing but give us great criticism, great thumbs up, great comments down below, I appreciate every one of you, the ones that have newly come and I hope not to disappoint you with the future content that we put out and the people that have been with us from the very beginning, I thank you very much. I would like to thank Sean Long, John Riggs and the Cartridge Club for helping us reach that plateau. We were like 15 away from reaching our plateau and with their help they retweeted our tweets and, and our channel and they, we actually surpassed that. We're at exactly 1044. It's something that I'm really, really happy to be that. I wanted to reach that by 2018 and we did that by exactly New Year's Eve. It was, it was a great feat in itself. I appreciate that, so thank you a lot, guys. And this year, I wanna break 2,000. So again, if you see these videos, please like, comment, and share these videos. I appreciate them. But we'll get into the whole pickups of, of what I got over the holiday. First up, my wife got me a Space Invaders and Pac-Man mini arcade. They don't light up, but the music and the sound is exactly I don't know if I'm gonna open them up. I just like them in their packaging. Um, I may open it up just because if my kids would ever want to really play it, but I do really enjoy this. And my wife got me this off of Amazon and I love it. And next up, I got this off of a podcast, a Cartridge Club podcast, The Masters of Unlocking. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I'll put their link down below to their podcast. Uh, great two guys, Caleb and Scott. They're very adverse into you know video games and their culture of video games. And what they did was they held a their contest and discussing a review of their of their content. And I absolutely love their content. And so many other people of the Cartridge Club really do enjoy their content. So, anyways, they did a drawing, and I ended up winning Gears of War four. And I'm actually really looking forward to it because it actually has all four games into the one disc. Even though I already have one, two, and three. And I've beaten one, two, and three. This is something that you can actually go and play all four on one disc, which is really cool, like the Master Chief Collection. Uh, it's in the steel case, so I'm really, really liking this steel book right there. Uh, it's got so many added features, and the graphics, uh, from what I've seen online on YouTube, look fantastic for Gears of War 4. So I'm really looking forward to adding that to a backlog of my games, because every new game you get gets put onto the backlog. So that's another one that's gonna get put on the backlog. And last but not least, the Nintendo Switch. And I'm actually, I'm gonna tell you the guys the story of how I got this and why I got this. Um, my wife in the middle of the night or in the middle of the morning actually woke me up and she said I picked up a Nintendo Switch. This was like six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what do you mean you picked up a Nintendo Switch? She's like, yeah, the kids like it. You know, I always like love Nintendo, you know, so why not pick it up? So I decided, you know, I'll go back to bed. I was upset because I'm like, I don't like my wife buying technology, not for anything. I just find that she's not very good at buying technology. So with that being said, I decided that, you know, when I wake up, we'll discuss it a little bit further and I'll find a deal as much as I could for a Nintendo Switch. And not for anything, there's not many deals for Nintendo Switch. Boxing Day, Black Friday, they don't reduce their price pretty much at all. So what happened was, I went on EB Games and I saw that they were offering $3.99 for the console and a $59 game for free. So when I went in there, I saw the $59 game was Lego, uh, Marvel, Ultimate, something or other. And it's an open world game and I didn't realize that my kids will like it. So what I did was I ended up getting Mario Kart 8 and paid the difference of the Mario Kart. So if I got this for $3.99, this for $59, but I had to pay the difference of $29 tossed in. So it came up to like $450. Bucks. And absolutely love this console. My kids love it. We're jostling on the on the couch, you know, four of us, you know, playing elbow to elbow, trying to do Mario Kart. Great, great game. Such, so much fun. I absolutely love the look of it and the feel of the console in handhold mode. It is by far my favorite way of playing this console. Um, and then my wife picked up uh, Mario Odyssey and I'm actually going through that right now. I'm taking my sweet time on that. My wife, my daughter already cleared it. So that's a game that's always gonna stay in my collection but she cleared it already. Uh, she's powering through it as much as she possibly could. And you know, whenever she needed help, I helped her. If she needed a moon to get, I helped her. So realistically, some of the part of the games I was spoiled, but I really do love this system. Such a great little system. I was a skeptic for this console from the very beginning, very, being very underpowered and whatever, whatever. 
but it's not about that. It's about the couch co-op that you could play or the couch experience that you have with your family members. And when I was playing an Xbox or when I was playing PlayStation 4, you're si I was sitting on the couch by myself while my kids are doing their own thing, my wife is doing her own thing, and we, were, we weren't experiencing gaming as a family. And with Nintendo, it's, it's so funny how such a little thing that this little console that could made that possible again. When I'm playing this, I have my kids sitting beside me. When I play this, my wife is beside me. We're playing Mario Kart elbow to elbow, you know, you know, roughing, rough housing and trying to trying to knock each other out of first place. And with the other two consoles, we weren't doing that. And I was the one that was just, you know, adm admiring the console or the games that were being played, not really taking time with with the family to play these games. And I thank Nintendo for that. It was a great, great console for what they put out. So much little fun. I went with the red and blue scheme just because it looks a lot cooler than the plain old black. I'll put my Switch ID down below if you guys feel like adding me and we'll play a little bit of Mario Kart together. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.